On December 22, 2009, major newspapers reported, Barack Obama has warned the President of China that the United States would not be able to keep Israel from attacking Iranian nuclear installations for much longer. If Israel attacks Iran, Iran and its proxies in Lebanon and Gaza would unleash their arsenal against Israel. Iran would mine the Straits of Hormuz, stopping half the world's oil, and might activate suicide cells throughout the world. The backlash against Israel would be enormous. When was the last time that Iran, yes Iran, threatened the Jews with extermination? It was 2,500 years ago when the king of Iran gave his minister Haman permission to kill almost all the Jews in the world. We celebrate on Purim how Haman was stopped when we did the greatest mass tshuva repentance of Jewish history. During historic moments of truth such as this, the Jewish people should be mindful of the section of Leviticus that says, If you follow my decrees and observe my commandments, I will provide peace in the land. You will pursue your enemies, and they will fall before you by the sword. But if you will not listen to me, and will not perform all these commandments, you will be struck down before your enemies. I will lay your cities in ruin. A moment of truth may be arriving. If we rise to the challenge and respond as we did on Purim, we will celebrate. But if we let the opportunity slip by, and don't change ourselves, we might witness chas v'shalom, a different result. What can we do? Change is difficult. For protection, the urgency to change should be felt by every Jew, no matter how close or far he or she is from Judaism. We must change on a personal and communal level. Learning is an important ingredient. In the quiet of our hearts, we should ask ourselves, how can we improve in terms of what the Almighty wants? And communally, we must treat each other with compassion and respect, for the Second Temple was destroyed because we didn't get along. Psalm 81 says, If only my people would heed me, if Israel would walk in my ways, in an instant I would subdue their foes. The enemy is arming. We can't afford to let this moment slip by. Let us improve in ways that the Torah expects. The result is in our hands and applies to all of us. The time is now.